Capitol in Hartford. That's where lawmakers are burning the midnight oil right now. In fact, members in the House of Representatives are now preparing to vote on a state budget. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has been there all throughout the night tonight. She's joining us live right now with the very latest from the state capitol. Eliza. Mark, good evening. It has been a long day here at the Capitol. The final talks of that budget agreement just got underway with Governor Lamont and Republicans both seeming to be happy about it, calling it a balanced budget. And with it, in it has the largest personal income tax cut in Connecticut history. The two-year, $51 billion budget includes income tax cuts for middle and low-income families, returning hundreds of dollars to families, workers, businesses across the state, investing over $240 million in public school education to help hire and recruit more teachers at a time when Connecticut is seeing a teacher shortage. Connecticut has a surplus, and this bipartisan compromise limits how much spending they have. It was a balanced act because if we all funded everything in one area, we would end up cutting all the other areas. Republicans in support of the budget following negotiations. Ultimately, we have a budget um, that largely incorporates a lot of Republican proposals, so um, it's natural it's going to get support. However, some aren't getting what they wanted. Nonprofits are only getting a 2.5% increase in the striking group home employees with a 4.5% pay increase. They walked off the job last month, pushing for $25 an hour. And while it's not implemented until next year, funding for early voting isn't as much as hoped for. I've said from day one, I would rather have no early voting than early vo voting that's not well funded. And I still stick with that. And this long debate is in the House and is expected to be going on until the early hours of the morning. And then it heads up to the Senate for a vote. Reporting live at the Capitol tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza, thank you. Now, of course, there are many, many more details in the massive two-year budget that will save you some money. It continues a cap on the car tax. The plan also continues property tax credits for homeowners. And it could help you save at the airport because of cuts to fuel taxes on airlines. We'll have a complete breakdown of the budget. You will find it on the WFSB app.